Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we will understand the working of precision op-amp peak detector circuit. Okay. Then after that we will run the simulation using LT spice. We will design the circuit in LT spice. Then we will see the behavior of input waveform. We will see the behavior of output waveform. So the basic application of op-amp peak detector circuit is used in sound measurement instrument to measure the sound peak value of sound okay so this is the basic block diagram of op-amp peak detector circuit and here is input signal here is op-amp here is diode and it is connected to the capacitor this is the peak voltage peak output voltage okay now we will understand the working for diode peak detector circuit okay so at time t equals to 0 there is no charge stored at this capacitor and voltage across this capacitor is now 0 volt okay whenever you apply the signal input signal and whenever it is greater than v in is greater than v f this diode will conduct and it behaves like a short circuit now this capacitor will be charged using some time constant rd into c so voltage across this capacitor would be the first peak here this is the first peak it charged up to the first peak now the voltage across this capacitor is equal to the first peak voltage whenever your input signal is greater than your first peak voltage this diode will again conduct it behaves like a short circuit and this capacitor will again charge up to the second peak and now voltage across this capacitor would be second peak voltage of second peak again whenever your input signal is greater than the voltage of second peak your diode will conduct again and your capacitor will charge again and now it holds the voltage of third peak so finally voltage across the third peak uh, capacitor is equals to the third peak now you can see your input signal never exceed the voltage at capacitor which is equals to the third peak this diode will not conduct okay it will works in reverse bias and works as a open circuit so this capacitor holds the peak value which is equals to the third peak okay so now let us understand the working of this circuit whenever you apply some input signal at v in at that point of time at that point of time v not equals to your input signal v out okay since at time equals to t0 there is no charge stored at capacitor this will go same to here the voltage across inverting terminal is 0 volt okay at that time this diode conducts and it behaves like a short circuit and this capacitor will get charged and it charges up to v peak right v peak of your input signal v peak of your input signal the charging time of this capacitor is depend upon rd into c so the limitation of this circuit is since the output of this operational amplifier is connected with a finite load okay so which is not fixed load it is varying load so this capacitor will discharge through this path and the discharging time constant will be rl into c so at any case the discharging time constant of this capacitor should be greater than 10 times time constant of your input signal okay that means rlc should be greater than 10 times the time constant of your input signal okay and the charging time of this capacitor should be less than one tenth the time constant of your input signal that means rdc should be less than one tenth of 
the time constant of this input signal okay so to overcome this problem we can use one more operational amplifier and we can use at a buffer circuit so now the output of first stage operational amplifier this is first stage this is second stage is connected to the input of second stage operational amplifier which is working as a buffer circuit so since the input impedance of this operational amplifier is very high this capacitor will not discharge now and the same potential same voltage will appear at v output now for the positive half cycle you have you got here v peak value so that same will appear at here your inverting terminal that is v peak now whenever your input signal is less than v peak value v peak value that means your diode anode is less positive than diode cathode this diode works in a reverse bias region so it behaves like open circuit condition okay it behaves like open circuit so now your open works in a open loop configuration that is open loop configuration there is no closed loop now connected to the open that means the output of this operational amplifier v not equals to v not equals to minus v set so the output of this operational amplifier goes towards negative saturation okay so v not equals to minus v set now and now whenever your input signal again try to exceed your v peak value whenever your input signal is greater than your v peak value since your op amp is in negative saturation it will not respond so fast at that point of time you may not able to charge your capacitor at your peak value okay and that will also depend on the slew rate of this operational amplifier okay slew rate of this operational amplifier the conduction time of this diode and this the charging time of this capacitor okay so to overcome this problem we can use this modified open peak detector circuit let us now understand the working of this circuit so at time t equals to 0 there is no charge to that capacitor okay so v peak equals to 0 the same output will appear at here that means v out equals to 0 and the same output will appear at here and the same output appear at here that is 0 volt whenever you apply a positive half cycle that means your v in is greater than 0 volt here you get positive and this your diode here is plus here is minus here is plus and here is minus so diode d1 conducts and we have like a short circuit diode d1 d2 will not conduct and it we have like a open circuit so now your capacitor will charge at v peak value and you have some finite voltage here that is v peak and same voltage appears at v out so v peak appears at v out and the same voltage will appear at here v peak okay now for the negative half cycle whenever your input signal is less than less, less than your v peak value okay so let's say here you have negative voltage here you have more positive voltage okay here you have negative voltage here you have more positive voltage at that point of time this diode will not conduct and it works as a open circuit so d1 is off and it behaves like a open circuit and d2 is on now and it behaves like a short circuit at that point of time o your op amp will works in a closed loop configuration and there should be some finite output here okay whatever your input and you will get same output here so wherever your frequency is high you can use this circuit okay 
सो गाइज दिस इज द सर्किट डायग्राम ऑफ ओपैम पीक डिटेक्टर सो इट इज लुकिंग ए बिट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड बट इट्स वेरी सिंपल आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू सो हियर देर इज ए सोर्स विच इज हैविंग साइनोसोइडल साइन वेव टू पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट पीक एंड वन किलो हर्ट्स फ्रिक्वेंसी दैट इज कनेक्टेड टू द नॉन इन्वर्टिंग टर्मिनल ऑफ एन ओपैम यू टू an inverting terminal is connected using d2 to the output of this operational amplifier and one end is connected to the output of second operational amplifier okay then here is a output which is connected to a diode and that diode is connected to the u700 nanofarad capacitor and that is connected to the non inverting terminal of an opm so this operational amplifier works as a buffer and this operational amplifier as a peak detector okay no so the supply rail for both operational amplifier is plus 12 volt and minus 12 volt now i will run the simulation and i will show you the input signal waveform and i will show you the output signal waveform and let us we will see if it is acting as a peak detector right so for since my input signal is 1 kilohertz for transient analysis i took 5 millisecond time span right now i will run the transient analysis okay let me add plot pane here is your input signal and here is your output put signal okay so let me take it here here is your output signal and here is your input signal let me change the color this red fine okay now you can you can see here your input signal is 2.5 volt peak that is mine that means 5 volt peak to peak and your output signal is 2.5 volt peak at certain point of time when it reaches its peaks value you can see there is some time constant charging time constant of capacitor once it reaches its peak value it holds the peak throughout the time period of your input signal so hope you understand the concept for operational amplifier peak detector if you have any doubt feel free to ask me in comment section